Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week one of Palace's Spring 2022 collection. It is here guys, the first drop list video for the first season of this year. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. I've seen your comments in the comment section below uh, in a lot of my other videos, especially you PJ Cool, I, I, I've seen you <laughs> saying are we going in blind for week one? You're not going in blind. It's just that week one, it's the biggest season. It's always the one that gets the information closest to the actual drop. It doesn't drop super early like all the other weeks. And it's also the most inaccurate details when it comes to drop one, because, you know, Palace tries to throw us some curveballs, tries to keep week one's drop list, you know, under wraps. They don't want you knowing because, well, if there's nothing there that you like in week one, you're not gonna come out and check week one, right? If you don't know what's dropping in week one, we're all gonna come and have a look at week one. <laughs> but here I am, I guess, ruining that telling you what is dropping this week. All thanks to Max Merch. So Max Merch has posted the drop list for week one, as well as the estimated price list for week one. So in today's video, we're gonna be using two different posts to fully cover week one. We're gonna use one post, cover all seven pages on that post and cover the entire drop list for week one. And then we will use a second post to cover the price list so you guys can find out how much these big ticket items that are dropping in week one are going to cost you now i'll give my thoughts and opinions on each individual piece throughout get ready guys let's get into it let's head on over to that first post and start covering the drop list for this week so here we are at the first max merch post to cover the drop list or should i say as they have titled it alice spring 2020 to week one expected drop list because as i mentioned week one it's always hard to be as accurate as possible this is what we're expecting to drop some of the pieces may not drop it's really a bit of a gamble there anyway let's cover the release details for week one and then we'll start diving into the individual pages for the drop list so week one is always a huge drop so please be aware a few items that uh may not drop and a few others may drop that are not included in this expected drop list it's all dropping in store and online this friday 4th of february for the uk europe and in store and online for usa it's also dropping the day later on the saturday for japan and china japan gets it in store and online china just gets it on the wechat store if you have any further questions regarding you know the drop or anything like that leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can there we've covered all the release details now for week one let's dive into this first page of expected items to release in this week's drop I'm actually gonna zoom in as much as possible so we have like a full idea <laughs> of what we're actually getting so the top three items the big heavy hitters Apparently, we are getting the leather flight jacket in the brown. There is only one color for this jacket from memory. That is going to be a very expensive and a very sought after piece dropping in this week. But I honestly agree with them saying that it's dropping in the first week because Palace loves its heavy hitting pieces for that first week of the season. Understandable, sweet piece, would love it. Probably would cost me an arm and a leg though. We've got the Pertex Q-Light Down Jacket, uh, which comes in various different colors. I'm not a huge fan of that silhouette, but if you like this brown, mossy looking camo and all the other colors that comes in as well, that one's for you. We've got the P65 Jacket coming in the colors it comes in with the patches on it. I don't mind this piece too much. It doesn't excite me as much as other jackets are that are releasing this season, but maybe you're a fan of its simplicity. That is also releasing this week. We have the faux fur jacket releasing in various different colors. We've got a nicey blue. We've got it in more of a traditional brown fur looking color as well. Uh, love them. I love Palace uh, faux fur jackets. I've got one in my wardrobe from I think the last time they did one. Sweet piece. Love it. Would love to pick one up. Not going to pick up anything this week because I'm saving up for a different piece. 
but very solid piece there. That one's probably going to sell out in most of the colors it's releasing. A little unsure though. Next we move into the Jacquard Fleece Hooded Jacket. This one comes in a couple colors. Uh, we've seen the brown, we've now seen a black. All the colors it comes in are releasing in week one. We've got the Badge Work Jacket over here, which comes in a couple other colors as well. There's also some matching pants, which I assume are going to be releasing this week if the jacket does indeed drop. And moving down into our final two items of the first page, we have the Gore-Tex Infinium Reverse Down Vest in multiple different colors. So you can wear it in either way. It has two different color options. You simply just reverse it. Nice little piece. It's cool. Gore-Tex material. It's ticks from me. Next, we move into the Cricket Jumper. It is a very cricket looking piece. Uh, a V-neck chain knit sweater is a very cricket uh, piece of clothing to wear. I personally just like it because it looks very, I guess, Ivy League or prep school like. I'm giving it a thumbs up on that one. It's a sweet piece. That is everything releasing from uh, page one in week one. Let me know what your favorite item is on page one, but we'll now dive into page two. So here we are at page two featuring uh, the top three pieces is the strawberry knit in all of its colors. I love the strawberry knit in the white. Uh, I haven't actually checked out the range, so I don't know what other colors it comes in, but obviously it comes in a green as well. I think it's a sweet little knit. We've got the strawberry embroidered denim shirt. Uh, as I was right, the strawberries do continue onto the wrists and on the pocket as well. In the lookbook, we only saw the collar, but I made the assumption it continues on the other parts of the piece. We've got the duck bomb panels jeans. So some straight leg jeans with the duck bomb graphic on the right knee there, pretty solid. We're then moving into more pants. We've got the baggies jeans in an indigo wash, nice straight leg jeans there. Some cord cargo pants in ver in all the colors that comes in. Of course, the badge worker trousers matching the jacket that I just spoke about before. Uh, we've then got the baggies shell bottom in the green and the ripstop cotton belter trousers in the camo. Uh, none of the pants really speak to me uh, this week, although in saying that I can never really wear them because they only go up to like a size 36, I think, from memory, so a bit too small for me. Uh, and I think the only piece on page two that I'm really looking at is the strawberries knit. I think that's the one for me. Uh, I'd love to hear how you guys feel about page two of week one. What's your favorite piece in that? But we'll press on and have a look at page three. To kick that page off, we have the so far joggers coming out as well. Just some simple sweatpants with the palace logo up on the left thigh there. We've got the Pertex quilted hoodie and the shorts releasing this week uh, a very nice material uh very interesting to see it being applied to a hoodie not a typical silhouette that that type of material is applied to a very nice piece if you just want like a textured basic hoodie i think that's a pickup and it comes in a couple other colors as well we've then got the uh Politec laser hood in the flat green and also all the other colors it releases in so it's a Politec hoodie with the lasered in uh triferg on the back I think that's pretty solid. Again, if you just want a textured basic piece, that one's for you. We've got the Duck Bomb Hood coming out as well. That one's going to fly off the shelves. It's a very popular graphic. I personally wouldn't mind it myself. Very solid little piece there. We've then got the Palace Baddest Hood uh, coming in all the colors it comes in. Not really feeling that one. We've then got the Fallen City uh, Tri Ferg Hoodie coming out this week. This one I think is pretty much confirmed because Palace has posted about it prior to the week one releasing. And usually when Palace posts about a piece prior to a week dropping, it usually means that it's going to drop in that week. So I would say this one's a pretty safe bet. It would be weird for them to post about it and then not feature it in the drop. I'm sure in other colors it's pretty solid, but I haven't actually checked it out as of yet. Uh, next we have the Sherling cardigan in the multicolor here showcased. I really like the silhouette, I like that it's shirling material, and I like the overall pattern on it. Um, some may disagree with me there, I think it's a bit of a stylish piece, you could definitely rock that pretty easily. And that is uh, page three. I would say my favorite piece is probably going to be the Pertex hoodie or maybe the Duck Bomb hoodie. Actually, I like all the pieces in the center uh, row here. <laughs> yeah, in the sorry, in the center column I should say. Yeah. 
solid but that is uh page three guys let me know what your favorite piece on page three is let's go check out page four Eey, some very heavy hitting pieces releasing this week we've got the pal gb or great britain quarter zip in the navy and the other colors that features in i like the uh use of the co collegiate styled font on the front there looks like a gap hoodie with the th only three letters being used got the british flag there that's kind of cool we've got the so far crew releasing to match the sweatpants so you can have the full sweat suit we've got the spike long sleeve in all the various colors that comes in so it's the palace logo done in a bunch of spikes eh all right We've got the Palace Baddest AOP t-shirt. Eh. Palace Baddest t-shirt. That's okay. Fruity t-shirt, Palace with a strawberry. Yeah, that's a cop for me. <laughs> if I was to buy something from this week, I think that's a fun little graphic tee. I like it. It's nice. We've then got the Classico t-shirt and the Bonsai t-shirt. I think the Bonsai t-shirt is very nice as well. Uh, out of page four, I think my favorite pieces releasing in page four is either going to be the Bonsai tee or the Fruity t-shirt there. I just like the fun little, you know, uh, graphic tees that you can wear in the summer when it's too hot to wear layers. Nice little piece there. Let me know what your favorite piece is releasing in page four. Let's press on to page five. Now to kick off page five, we have the Tri-Surf Co t-shirt. Uh, this was showcased in a video posted by Palace, so it's pretty safe to assume that this t-shirt is getting a release this week. We've then got the basic uh, t-shirt, just a simple Palace t-shirt with some co-branding on the left breast there. We've got the Palace Baddest Knitted Bucket Hat. What a name not for me i looks a little bit goofy with that face on it we've got the low case trucker here i like this it's the snickers logo appearing on a trucker cap let's go <laughs> i'm a fan of that hat that's a fun hat i there's probably a black color i would like it in a black color just to really look like a snickers bar but that's a fun trucker cap there got the hawaii denim pal hat uh, that'll come in a couple other colors as well featuring a very hawaiian themed palace logo on it a nice little washed twill p6 panel there we've got a love me jacquard beanie with these love hearts and palace lettering all over it we've got the duck bomb beanie i like this one that's a nice one i like it's like military font for the palace logo and the little duck bomb graphic there that's fun that is fun that is everything that is releasing on page five. My favorite piece, I'm gonna give it to the Snickers trucker hat. I think that's a, that's a fun little piece that I could see myself wearing there. And I need more hats in my wardrobe, so I would, yeah, that's something I could see myself wearing. Anyway, let me know what your favorite pieces are on page five. We've only got two more pages to go. Let's check out page six. This is a pretty big one. This one got posted on, I think their story. I think they posted on their story, maybe in a post. We have the Vans collab releasing in week one. You think that they would push it back to a, its own separate week, make a big deal out, out about it? Nah, dropping it in the biggest week. <laughs> and they did that a couple seasons ago, didn't they? They released the Adidas collab they had in week one as well, um, when they didn't have any power for it. They just had the shoes. So maybe that's the go now. Anyway, let's get into it further. We've got the zip pocket beanie here, a uh, little zip on the top part of the beanie. Eh. We've got the thanks a bunch t-shirt, little t-shirt with uh, the Hawaiian graphic on it there. We've got the Palace Vans old school, uh, the basically uh, Palace Vans old school, I should say. It's got the very simple Palace uh, logo there where it's Palace slanted and a red and blue logo, I think, on the top and bottom of it. It's just got that on the back of it and then a little bit of co-branding. It's a very minimal looking pair of Vans, but it's a super nice collab if you just like basic pairs of Vans. That's the one to go with. Moving into the accessories, we have the English pool balls. Nice. Can't go wrong with some custom pool balls there. We've got the Palace Morphe Charger in the black. We've got the Palace Maglite Standard 16 Mini Camo flashlight there. Eh. We've got the Poodle Dog Bowl. 
I'm not going to be getting a dog bowl. I don't have a dog. And then we've got the palace rubber duck. And you know, that's a cop. Who's not having a bath with the palace rubber duck? <laughs> it's even got its own little hat on it. Look at that. Look at that boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, I can't fit in a bathtub. So, um, well, unless it's a super big bathtub. So I'm going to have to miss out on the rubber duck there. But that is everything releasing in page six. Let's move on to our final page. Drum roll, please. Let's see what we're getting in the last page for week one. Well, yeah, they're kind of running out of things on page seven, but they couldn't fit it in all into the previous pages. On page seven, we've just got the Classico key ring and some stickers with all the motifs from this season, like the bonsai, uh, the strawberries. And then last but not least, we have the uh, skateboards. Most of the skateboards, if not all the skateboards, release in week one. We all know that. So if you're after the skateboards this season, they're releasing there. But uh, yeah, that is everything releasing in week one. That is the full drop list, guys. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more there. Nice. So this is the drop list for week one. I would say my favorite pieces. Uh, I mean, I come to Palace for the outwear, so I'm really loving that flight jacket. I'm loving this faux fur jacket. I'm liking that cricket uh, knit there. I'm liking the knit here. Uh, the hoodies were nice. I like the duck one, the per uh, Pertex one, and I like the Sherling cardigan. There's a lot of heavy hitting pieces in week one if this is all the pieces that are truly going to be releasing in week one. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week one's drop list, guys. Which pieces you're picking up, which ones you're not. But we'll now continue over to the second post and we'll cover the price list for week one. But here we are at the estimated price list and oh my god, if that flight jacket is correct. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm personally saying it's more on the lower end on the 598. But if it is closer to the 898, oof, Jesus, that's going to be expensive. Uh, so I think I'll just slowly go down this page. You guys can pause the video, have a look at the pieces that you're after and see what kind of price range it is. I feel like the faux fur jacket is a little high because I remember I bought mine for like 198 or like low 200s, like 219 or something. Maybe with inflation, it's gone up a little bit. But yeah, uh, I'll just keep on going down very slow. You guys can, as I said, pause figure out which piece you're after. Remember, these are only estimates. They're not confirmed. It's just, you know, a rough idea based on previous seasons and everything like that. Uh, if it's like last year, last year we saw a price increase on some things like t-shirts and things like that. They went up to $45 from 40. They could be increased again. I doubted that they would do it two years in a row. That's, you know, that's really testing some fans' pockets there, but you never know, man. You never know, mate. Palace needs to make a profit at the end of the day. So if prices are going up, it's going to be reflected onto us. But yeah, let me know if you have any further questions or anything like that. Now that we've gone through the drop list and the prices, have the prices deterred you from picking anything up? Did you see that uh, price for the flight jacket? And you're like, okay, no flight jacket for me. <laughs> let me know if that's the case, if you've been deterred from any pieces or not, now that you've seen a rough idea of the prices. Uh, let me know down in that comment section below. Well, that is everything to be said about week one. We covered the release details. We covered the pieces releasing in it, the drop list, and we even got a little bit extra. We covered the estimated prices as well. Uh, there was a lot to talk about. I'm a huge fan of the outwear that's allegedly uh, meant to release this week. I hope, it, I hope the drop list is kind of wrong because I don't want all this heat releasing in week one when I'm missing out. <laughs> Just to have unlimited cash so I can't buy all of it. But yeah, some really solid pieces this week. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys. If you are picking up something from week one, what are you feeling? What are you going to be picking up? Are you going to break the bank and spend a lot? Or are you just like, I wouldn't mind some stickers. I wouldn't mind a cap. <laughs> something small. It's fine either way. I want to hear what you're going to be picking up from week one down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming weeks in these palace seasons, you got to give me the three indicators. You got to like this video, leave a comment in that comment section down below, and you got to give me the best indicator of all, 
a subscribe to the channel. We're also trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,260 subscribers. We're really close to it, guys. Hopefully, with your continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's all I gotta say about week one, guys. I hope this video helped you out at all. I uh, hope you managed to pick up the items that you're looking to pick up this week in the size and color that you're after. But until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next palace skateboards video, guys, I'll catch you later.